What's going on? My name is Chad Christopher, and this is my woodworking shop. Now, I've always been intimidated by building stuff. I've always I've had just kind of this hidden passion for building things, and I'm an awful handyman. So I decided to dedicate this YouTube channel to learning how to build stuff, especially in the woodworking world. So, this is my shop, Dojo Built Designs, and this series is dedicated to the people who are trusting me to build something special for them. This is all about my first commissioned projects. So, come along with me for this ride. Don't be fooled by this Carhartt flannel and this fancy looking shop and tools. I'm learning as I go, but uh, I couldn't be more stoked to be on this journey. I hope you guys enjoy the journey with me. With that said, let's get started. What's up guys, Chad Christopher here and welcome back to another project video. Here's the deal, man. We filmed an intro for this back when we, we originally started this project and I don't know, it's been a while, Corona, whatever. Unfortunately, we lost the footage. So, you know, it is what it is, stuff happens. A quick rundown of this project that my goodness was so freaking dope to work on. A homie, a subscriber, a fan of the channel for a long time, a really good friend, his name is Art. He reached out to me, said he wanted to commission a job for his five-year-old son. He got his five-year-old son a lightsaber from Disneyland and he wanted me to custom make a box for him. Now, uh, you can get boxes for these at Disneyland and here's a picture of what that looks like. Uh, but he wanted, you know, they're kind of made of cheap, flimsy plastic, whatever. He wanted something made out of real wood with a lot of, you know, personality and character and just handmade quality to it. So uh, I was stoked to undertake the challenge. So here is how I put together Art's son's lightsaber box. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, what's up guys? We are back here in the shop for this really cool lightsaber build. And I made a really amateur mistake. I brought the camera to film today, but I didn't bring the batteries. <laughs> so I'm filming on my phone right now. I'm gonna make these clips pretty short because I don't know, quality is probably not the greatest, um, but check this out. So first update is this is the epoxy all set. It looks gorgeous man this camera doesn't really do it justice but there's like this really pretty kind of gold fleck going through the green uh yeah absolutely gorgeous the other thing is i took uh the two end caps of the box as well as the bottom piece over to my homie who owns a cnc machine and uh we designed something together and he absolutely hooked it up so check out some time lapse footage of that right here Here are the finished pieces. Super, super cool. So these are the two end pieces of the box. You can see uh, we put so uh, like a really cool kind of, I don't know, light side filling insignia there. We also engraved this. So this is gonna be the inside of the box. So you take the lid off. This is gonna be the inside bottom of the box. And that says Art's son's name, whose box it actually is. The lightsaber is gonna be suspended right here. You take the lightsaber out, and that is his name in Arabesh, which is the uh, Star Wars alphabet. Last update here is I grabbed a couple nail guns. This is an 18 gauge nail gun and this is a 23 gauge pin nailer. I got that so that I can, you know, I'm gonna glue this box together and I'm gonna use pin nails to hold it in place while those, uh, while that glue dries. So I'm really excited to try that nail gun out. But anyways, uh, I guess I'm just gonna tell you kind of what I'm gonna do because I don't really have a way to like prop my phone up or anything, but I'm gonna take all these edges. I'm going to match them up to the length of these end caps. And then I've got to 
cut these edges to, I think a 22 and a half degree cut on each side like we were testing earlier um, so that we can get a nice octagon even flow around it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. We're gonna break this out of the epoxy as well, get it all planed up and finalized. And then uh, I'll show you kind of where we're at after all that. So it is the following day. I got these pieces all cut. They've all got the, the angles on them. Yeah, everything's looking really nice. Now it is time to assemble. Honestly, I'm really scared about this part. <laughs> this is the part that has to be just like perfect. Um, so my, my plan here is we're gonna put some glue on an end, kind of stick it on where it needs to go. And then I think I'm probably gonna have Kyle hold it for me and you saw this pin nailer I got yesterday. I'm just gonna put two pin nails into each panel here uh, that'll just essentially keep it clamped until the wood dries. That's really the, the purpose of this guy. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get the, the body built up. These top three are gonna be a lid that lifts off. So we'll get to that point in a bit here, but I just, I wanna get this, this body built today. So, I don't know, here goes nothing. A little bit of glue up here. Yeah. Is that actually in the wood? Couldn't really tell. Does it seem somewhat sturdy? Yeah. Let's go! Now get that inside there. Okay, let's get it. Look how cool that looks already, dude. Let's go, bro. All right, let's go, bro. Yeah, hit that glue real quick before it dries. Hit that glue, Kyle says, hit that glue. This is a really cool build, dude. Like if I would have thought when we were making that cornhole board that we'd be capable of something like this in <laughs> six months, I would said no effing chance. I was gonna throw those cornhole boards away recently and Trish was like, no, we gotta keep those. Oh, that was your first project ever. Yeah. I was like, yeah, but they're awful. <laughs> She's like, yeah, but you need them to remind you how far you've come. That's true, that's true. Okay, so, mm, this is the direction of it. This one, with this piece. Okay. Look at that, look at that fitting together though. All right, let's show them. I was just talking to Kyle. Remember when I built that cornhole board, like my very first project? We couldn't even get two Corners of a rectangle to measure. <laughs> now we're getting like a 22 and a half degree angle plus the sides. Oh. Mm. Feeling good, guys. Feeling good. All right, I'm gonna let you do the honors here. Thank you. What are you looking at? I'm looking at some knives. Yo, look how pretty this thing's turning out. All right, what's going on, y'all? Welcome into the studio. So check this out. Number one, the box itself is really pretty much finished. I mean, I'm gonna fill in these, these little holes from the pin nailer with some wood putty, but other than finishing it, this thing is good. I mean, finishing it in terms of like, you know, put some oil on it. Um, I made these little 
kind of stand things. So I'm just going to glue those into place down here. And that's what the actual lightsaber will rest on. So then, you know, you grab the lightsaber, boom, and then it reveals that name, which I think is a really cool kind of, I don't know, like add some depth to that thing, right? Now, here is the problem. We got the, uh, the lid all finished up here, besides, once again, adding oil and stuff. But, let me zoom in here. Number one, the pin nails just straight up did not go through. So first off, I've got to see if I can get those out or break them off or something. Next up, you'll notice that some of the pin nails like actually shattered the epoxy. So right there and down there. And uh, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Just about broke my heart to <laughs> when I saw that that happened. Um, so yeah, I think my plan is I'm either gonna just try sanding all that like shattered epoxy out and then refilling it. If that doesn't work, I might just end up drilling that whole section out and then refilling it with epoxy. I was playing with the idea of maybe adding some handles, like maybe some cabinet pulls on top of that just to cover it entirely. Um, and I still may go that route, but like I haven't found any that really fit the vibe of this box and uh, the size, most of them are too big. That's what we're doing today is trying to fix this, which sucks because it's like, it's like finished, man. It's just like throw some oil on it, watch it come to life, become beautiful, and then ship it off. But of course, something like this always happens with woodworking. You know, it's that whole patience thing. So I'm gonna get into fixing this. I'm gonna try and get those pin nails out of here and then I'm gonna see if I can figure out a way to fix this epoxy. All right, so here's what we ended up doing. I ended up being able to sand out most of it. I just poured some new epoxy. So we're gonna let this cure overnight and hopefully be able to sand it down. <sighs> if this doesn't work, then I, I mean, I guess we're making a new lid, but fingers crossed, I think this should work. Uh, the other thing that I did is I just took a sander and I was able to sand down uh, pretty much all of these little pins. You can still kind of see them poking out, but uh, you know, they're not sharp anymore. Like you can run your finger over them, not tell where they're at. I'm, so I'm gonna probably still try and fill that little area with wood putty, but I did everything with this little multi-tool here, which is coming so much handy. So I just put on a little, uh, like a precision sanding bit and I just went to town in there. That's how I got the epoxy like out and then how I got those nails kind of shaved down as well. So I don't know, uh, let's just cross our fingers and I guess I'll see you tomorrow hoping that this worked out. We got this thing finally finished up. I'm absolutely stoked on the way this thing came out. I added a couple coats of tongue oil to this beautiful cherry wood and it really brought it to life. The epoxy up on top, I think looks great. You know, there's a couple spots, like I said, that we had to patch. And uh, I think if you're looking for them, you can definitely see them, but otherwise, Really, I'm happy with the way that the epoxy came out on this lid. It was really a challenge to get this lid to be this shape and to, to fit evenly across this thing. But again, I'm happy with the way that came together. Uh, the edges here, the CNC stuff, I think were really, really cool. Uh, the tongue oil really added a lot of depth to it. And on the inside, the lettering, obviously kind of the same thing. And I love the way the stands came together. I'm just crossing my fingers that the lightsaber fits in those. I didn't have the physical lightsaber to test, so I went off measurements, um, but yeah. So here's the real test. Art actually lives in California. That's what I made this box for. So hopefully we can link up via FaceTime and we can watch him unbox this thing. And uh, yeah, so if that's a possibility, here's that clip. There should be two pieces in there for you, dude. Oh my God, Ben. This actually says your name. This is in, in your name in Jedi. <laughs> can you put it in there? Perfect. Does it fit? It, it fits perfect, my friend. Do you see the detail? Well, Man, I can't thank you enough. This is amazing, and like it looks great. But you have no idea how thankful I am for this. This is like a really awesome thing. So awesome, dude. Well, I'm glad it turned out. I'm glad he seems to like it. I'm glad that it fits the lightsaber most of all. That was the part oh, yeah, I was worried dude, about. The dimensions are awesome on it. it, it I'm super stoked. Like this is amazing. Awesome, dude. Well, thank you so much for trusting me on this. It was a it was a challenge, certainly with that like octagonal box, but I'm stoked yeah. on the way it came out. Thanks, man. Thanks so much. Bye. See you guys. Bye.
Huge shout out to Art for trusting me with this. This is a big deal for him and his family and uh, I was stoked to be able to make this thing for him. Forgot to show on the bottom there, we did get the Dojo brand looking nice and crispy. Absolutely stoked on that. Art, thank you once again, man. I hope you love this thing. I hope you love it forever and it treats you well. It does everything that you were hoping for it to do. And uh, here's to some more projects together in the future, man. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. That helps me out a bunch. If you want to commission yourself a custom build, that email is down in the description below. I'd love to work together. And uh, that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this build as much as I did. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new around here, and I will catch you next time on Chat Christopher. Peace out.